Hi guys, this is Angela from Hampton Roads Home Staging and Redesign. It has been a while and I am here. I'm home actually. Um, had surgery on Friday, day after my birthday, July 28th. Um, I had surgery, had my gallbladder removed, so I'm actually home and I'm bored. But I, I gotta be bored if I'm showing you guys this kitchen, this old outdated kitchen. But anyways, here goes. Um, let's step back at the door just to show you guys and like I said, you know, we're in a two bedroom two bath condo here and So these are you'll see things that I did not choose myself like this uh, cover on this light switch for instance um, But anyways, just working my way around so you can see and then it's a small kitchen This is a fridge. I have a little vignette set up on top of the refrigerator as you can see here I hope it's clean up there but I have this, um, I got this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx some time ago, the uh, asparagus head or statue there. And then my cookbook, rolling pin sitting on top of a uh, cutting board. And then here I just have an apothecary jar with lemons, excuse me, and a uh, salt and pepper shaker from Pure One. And then just another little ceramic jar with some, uh, uh, cooking tools and everything inside of it so there you go just to show you what's going on up here and this picture here was already in the condo they left it so I said no problem I'll just make it work with what I have going on or I could take it down but I actually kind of like it it's a cafe theme here so as you can see I guess it's a very small kitchen um, here, here's my little coffee station. I used to have it set up with a lot of different stuff going on, but I'm always changing it. So, there's a little sign I got from Hobby Lobby about two years ago. I like my cream and sugar with a touch of coffee, and that is so true. I love uh, French vanilla uh, creamer. But anyways, and then these little um, canisters here. I got these from TJ Maxx. Or, uh, yeah, TJ Maxx some time ago as well. Um, they still have them in stores now and the tray actually is separate um, I just found the tray and it actually fit so I put that together a little turn around here um, and then I have my um, my mixer my Cuisinart mixer here on the countertops as well and then these uh, pictures that I got from Kirkland's maybe a couple years ago I think so I like those those are nice um, let's see, and then I just have, uh, there are two bar stools on the other side that I eventually want to change out, but you can see what I have going on here, this place setting. And then here is just, a. will go around the other side and show you, it's just a candle, the lantern, and, um, my topiary tree, and then this, uh, can you see this thing here on the stand? Yep. And then my cafe sign. I got those from Home Interior maybe a long time ago. But as you can see here now, I got this cake plate, this uh, silver cake plate from TJ Maxx or Marshalls probably a month or two ago. And then you see the Mrs. Myers um, hand soap, lotion, and everything, the brush, everything I have going on here. I think that cake plate maybe was like $14.99, $12.99. I'm not sure, but it's nice and heavy. I, I really like that. And then in the corner, I have a canister set that I got from Pier 1. Probably about four or five years ago, I believe. And they come in all the same colors, but I chose these three different colors because I love warm colors. And then here I have another vignette going on. As you can see, another cutting board my kitchen eight knives and and then I have a ceramic canister in the back with my utensils the wooden utensils the stainless steel utensils um, and then here you see the little the little green topiary tree I think I got that from Marshall's or maybe Target a while ago um, and then here we have the the big and the the wooden and the small um, 
Oh God, it always slips my mind with this, but you guys know what this is. With this, you grind your spices up. Um, uh, I know it begins with an M, but I just cannot. It always slips my mind. I'm sorry, but you guys know. And then there's a tray that I have, another um, wooden tray with the silver silver handles I got from TJ Maxx, I believe, also. But here you go. And then I have this. Um, the decorative jar with the food inside i've had that for about 20 years i bought that when i was married to my first husband y'all we've been divorced 12 13 years from bed bath and beyond years ago and then my stainless steel um coffee pot i got that from it's actually prince's house for those of you that know prince's house you see the on top the crystal and you see the stenciling on top so you know prince's house when you see it i love this teapot and uh, my eat sign. I think I got this from. Hmm. I think I got that from Hobby Lobby also. And then the microwave. It was just uh. I got this little. This little set here from um. Where did I get these? This set. It's one piece. I got that from Kirkland's probably about two weeks ago, for maybe twelve ninety nine. I'm not sure, but. You know you spend to win in there so kitchen is real small that was quick wasn't it so for those of you that don't have an updated kitchen we can still make it look nice and I am renting right now so I just wanted to show you guys the kitchen because I've never shown it because I don't really care for it but hey um, I'm not gonna complain I'm thankful regardless so I'm just doing a swirl around here and that's actually the laundry room and the pantry I'm gonna go around here to the living room just to show you a view from the other side oh and also I got new chairs from Wayfair I didn't show y'all those okay that's a separate video in itself but just so you guys can see those are my chairs that I got from Wayfair got rid of those other brown chairs like I told you I'm still updating some things and I'm gonna put a mirror here. Just haven't done it yet. Since I've been home, I've been, when I say I've been changing some stuff, y'all. Been busy as can be. And that's us on vacation. We went to Dominican Republic. That big old cheesy smile of his. But, uh, here you guys go. Might as well just swirl around. And then here's my workspace over here. So, excuse my bags on the floor. And the um, table back up there we go but and you can see the kitchen from here so the owners um, live next door they're actually he's actually uh, my co-worker and they lived here and then they moved next door so our lease is up in October and we're supposed to be moving but we may do a six-month lease because we're going out of town to Memphis for Labor Day and we didn't want to have to come back and get everything packed up and move um, within that short period of time. So we'll probably do a month to month or six month lease at that point. But because um, we need more space. So you guys can see the kitchen from here. So this is it. So hopefully I've given you guys some ideas or just um, for those of you that maybe you don't have the most desirable place to live. It's not what you want right now but you're still blessed with what you have, then hopefully this will give you some ideas to still make it look pretty. So, there you go. All right, you guys. And I was supposed to do this later, so you guys have seen it now, but I'll still do it later because I'm still making changes. But anyways, well, why not? Let's just walk over here and show you real quickly. These chairs, I've gotten a few new things here, as you can see. But these chairs, they cost me like $328 each, guys. And I don't know if they were actually worth They're sturdy, but I don't know. But I guess it's worth it because in the store, then it would have cost me, you know, well over $400 for what I really wanted. So they're nice. I'm not going to complain. They're nice. It has updated the space quite a bit. As you can see, so I won't complain. I do want to get another TV stand at some point here, 
but um, this is good for now. We did um, move the sofa table over and we put the TV on top of it and I was going to take the mirror down, but then we're sitting and we're looking up at the TV, so we kind of like it this way. I will be updating the artwork at some point as well. I just haven't seen anything that I really like yet. So this runner here that I got. I think I'm kind of transitioning, getting ready for fall. So, yep. Oh, I haven't shown you guys this table either. This entryway table. I got that from Marshalls probably about a month ago. It was $99. And this vase came from ooh, Tuesday morning. And then I've had this lamp. I just changed the shade out. Then a Scentsy warmer. So I probably will just put a mirror right there, a round mirror. Oh, here are our pictures right here. We went to paint night on my birthday. So I have one and he has one. I was thinking about putting them up here, but I don't know yet if I'm going to. We'll see. I think I prefer a mirror. I'm not ready to put our artwork up just yet. Our Picassos. But anyways. So there you go, guys. Just doing one little tour around. And then this is just the front door where we have our... our I got a, a boot tray for our shoes and everything here. So working with the space we have but anyways so this is it so all right guys i will talk to you later and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video comment down below um for any suggestions or even ideas that you may like um where this is called working with what you have so in in whatever space that you have i should say okay guys um you guys enjoy the rest of your evening today is august third uh 2017 i will talk to you guys soon again this is angela from hampton roads home staging and redesign take care